Today is Holy Saturday, and today we remember Christ dead in the tomb. It is a day of waiting, anguished wondering, longing, and sorrow. We linger on that line from our creed that reads, Christ was crucified, died, and buried, that he descended to the dead. We remember and imagine what it might have been like to bury Jesus. The shepherd was struck and the sheep were scattered. Now for us, we, we have the hindsight that we know what comes next. We're, we're able to see Holy Saturday as a prelude to Easter and, and not as a postlude to the crucifixion. We know that death didn't win and that God vanquished the darkness and broke down the doors of hell and rose again. But on that first Holy Saturday, those who kept watch by the tomb did not. For them, the Messiah is simply dead. And I can only imagine what they've been thinking or feeling. The battle over, nothing won. Had they reached the point in their sorrow when they could no longer make a sound to wail or conjure tears to cry? Were they still in such shock that, that nothing seemed real? You know, the, the motions were, were just a distraction from reality. Were they lingering in that storm before new normal could even be imagined, let alone formed? Were they so numb with their grief that imagining what came next felt like moving an unmovable stone? Did their bodies still tremble? Did their earth shake? Did their hearts feel torn into? For a whole day, Christ was dead and buried and hopelessness prevailed. And to remember such hopelessness, especially when we have glimpses of it in our own lives, we know it is hard and emotionally draining. You know this. And so it's no wonder that most years um, there are very few people <laughs> with me in worship on Holy Saturday. It, it's a day that's often left forgotten, unremembered, and shortened. But I suspect that this year, many of us will linger in Holy Saturday. Even the church doesn't always quite know what to do with Holy Saturday. I think it's the least, um, least done fast day in our church. Even the liturgy, it, it, its shape has a strange ambiguity to it. It's not morning prayer, and but it follows the shape of the Eucharist, much like we've been doing during this season. But here in Holy Saturday, it stops short after prayers. It just ends, and there is no peace, no Eucharist, no thanksgiving, no blessing, nothing. That is celebration. And so this morning we linger here in this moment of the day. We let it have the power to touch the deep, dark truths in our life. Now, many of us might find ourselves asking, where is the gospel? Where is the good news in Holy Saturday? Whew. For some, that the answer is to just get past the day, break free from the sorrow, look to the joyous future, and I guess that works for some. But the gospel is profoundly present on Holy Saturday. The gospel of Holy Saturday lies not in Easter, but in Holy Saturday itself. The message of Holy Saturday is not, everything will be okay. Just wait and see what tomorrow will bring. Rather, the message of Holy Saturday is that we remember that God descends to the very depths of hopelessness and is present there. That in dying and descending to the dead, Christ is present even there, making a proclamation to those who have died. The Christ's presence and mission extends even to the dead. 
Nothing separates us from the love of God. Not life, not death. There is no exclusion for those who are dead. Jesus descended into hell for the unrighteous. And the horrors of hell are too great and evil and too intractable for us. Those who are shut up in prison are powerless to escape without a deliverer. And God is the deliverer. The word of God is irresistible and and powerful beyond imagining for the word of God creates out of nothing. And so one day evil will have no status and no being because the word of God and Jesus Christ descended into hell. And there is nowhere, nowhere where God does not reach out God's love and embrace us all in his righteousness. The message of Holy Saturday is that in the day when we perceive absolute hopelessness, when Christ does not seem alive and all our hope, faith, and love is shrouded in linen and buried and sealed in a tomb, the message of Holy Saturday is this, that in the day when we perceive absolute hopelessness, when Christ does not seem alive and all our hope, faith, and love is shrouded in linen, buried, and sealed in a tomb, the message of Holy Saturday is it is at this very moment when God descends to the depths of hell and hopelessness and breaks the prison and remakes the cosmos, sentencing to the nothingness of uncreation all attributes of evil. I commend to you the work of Fleming Rutledge and close with this quote. The descent of Christ into hell means that there is no realm anywhere in the universe, including the domain of death and the devil, where anyone can go to be cut off from the saving power of God. 